Okay, so we've been weather-wise in this cool and rather gloomy pattern. Yesterday, we couldn't muster up getting past 46 degrees, and today will be pretty similar. We'll get up to around 48 or so. Tomorrow, we start our upward trend, though, 53, and we just keep climbing from there. So good news in terms of the temperatures on Eclipse Day and also cloud cover, which I'll talk about momentarily, looks pretty good as well. And we just keep climbing. Tuesday looks to be the warmest day of the week. Before we talk more about the weather, let's talk about the earthquake situation because just at 646 this morning we had a very minor additional aftershock a 2.5 and even in right by the epicenter of this 2.5 magnitude earthquake there were hardly any reports of feeling it so that's more typical of the aftershocks you'll see being at very weak levels where most people even close to the epicenter won't feel them the main one that triggered this was the 4.8 which got felt all the way from Washington DC to Burlington Vermont and even some people in Maine reported feeling some shaking from that the aftershock forecast this is put out by the USGS the probability of having any sort of major shock would be very very slim over a 4-0 just a 14 percent chance over a 5-0 that goes down to a 1 percent chance so the odds are any additional shaking you probably won't even notice and if you do will be very light but if there is a more violent shake which can't be ruled out over the next week or so uh, you do want to go to a well fortified area and make sure most importantly your head is well protected so we'll cross our fingers that there's no more shaking to come but we do have clouds we could forecast these clouds today not so much the aftershocks but Clouds are here, 37 degrees, Troy, Fry, Fryhofer, Skycam, as we look south down the Hudson towards Albany. There were a few rain and snow showers in the Albany area, but those seem to have dissipated and pulled off towards the south. This will kind of be the radar all day long, which is passing showers around another consecutive day where we're dealing with this upper level low hanging off the Gulf of Maine, and that's why we're in this cloudier, cooler, and a bit breezier regime. Tomorrow, though, Notice these brighter skies over the central part of the country. Not as many clouds. That will be our weather over the next few days after we get past today. Today, though, still dealing with the clouds and the cooler temperatures. 36 in Albany right now, 33 in Cobble Skill, 37 in Greenwich, and 35 in Glens Falls. So, again, today, just sporadic showers across the area, especially over the higher terrain. But can't even rule out a passing rain shower in the afternoon through the capital region. Tonight, finally, we get a break from the showers. The clouds start to dissipate. Tomorrow morning, there's likely some clouds, but we get some sun mixing back in. And as the day progresses, I think the sun becomes more prevalent. We get temperatures back to near 50 degrees. And then beyond that, we look even better, at least for capital region and points north when it comes to cloud cover on eclipse day. A lot of these clouds, I know you see 75% coverage, Buffalo, Rochester, but they're high level clouds. So even in a place like that, you should, you should still be able to view the eclipse, but there's no doubt it is looking like the best spot, the best bet to view the eclipse would be a Plattsburgh or a Burlington where any sort of cloud cover would be very high and thin. Here's the preview as we go through uh, Monday late morning into the afternoon right around peak eclipse time. Notice it's more thicker clouds off towards the west. Yes, they're probably high in the sky, but a little uh, more thicker in cover could even be a scattered rain shower go Plattsburgh and Burlington a lot thinner in terms of the cloud coverage so that again looks like the best bet but hopefully for everyone we get ideal viewing conditions and enjoy this rare phenomenon happening on Monday temperatures look to warm up Tuesday rain showers back in the forecast Wednesday through Friday Bree all right Sam as long as there are no clouds Monday I'm good with that all right after